Hey traders, this is Scott at uh, ProactTraders.com and uh, this video is on guessing is a poor strategy. So we need to learn the clues that take you from a novice to a pro in the Forex. So retail traders typically are guessing, gambling, in the Forex. They use myriads of indicators that have been proven at best to be 50 to 55% correct. In other words, you could flip a coin and be just about as good. They find an entry and then they start looking for an exit. Any pullback, which by the way is necessary for the continuation, is considered a trade that is not working, so they exit. Statistically, the average retail trader captures only a measly five to eight pips per trade. I learned that when I was with FXDD for three years. If you do not have a 65% win rate, Yes, that means you lose 35 out of 100 trades and a 35 pip average pip capture. You are not yet sustainable. Your losses will overcome your wins. They spend their time trying to find a trade versus working on areas of weakness. So trading is easy when you've developed the skill level to pull the clues from the chart. The big boys, that's the bankers, must put the clues in the chart so that all other real traders know what the agenda is. That is why HSBC can't call up Bank America and say, we're trying to take the euro dollar up to 1.2500. Why can't they do that? Because that's called price fixing and you go to jail. So how do they get everybody locked in on the agenda? They put the clues in the charts. Retail traders, by and large, do not see those clues, so by default, they are guessing. So let's drill down on some basics so we stop guessing and then start trading. Every day, you must know these five things that are apparent in the charts. If they're not apparent, pass on the pair. Direction. What direction are they moving? Are they exhibiting Elliott waves? Bankers levels. Fib retracements and extensions. Targets today in the pair's direction, and each chart is different. Barriers to reach those targets, those are fib retracements from the last move in this same area. What patterns are they showing? Most are continuation, only four are reversals. Let's tackle each one, and by the way, you must practice each of these 300 times all at once to teach your left brain to trade. Your left brain is the trader. The right brain has creativity, intuition, arts, creation, feeling. I think it's going up, man. I think it's going down. That's right brain stuff, okay? Right brain also has fight or flight, and that's built into us by our divine creator who built that into us if we're in a hostile environment. Well, trading is a hostile environment, which means you're almost always on the right brain. Now, the left brain is the trader. It does the analysis, it figures out the logic, it creates a trading idea, it deals only with facts, it deals only with math, and it has to be trained, all right? So the purpose of doing the work is to train the left brain, all right? So your thinker gets you in trouble. I think it's going down, man. So let's talk about direction. Pairs are going up, down, or sideways. All are tradable if you recognize the structure and have the chops. If you find direction on a 240 chart, then it might be a trend. The 60 minute is a stronger clue for today if it is in harmony with the 240 minute chart. Never go below the 60 until you're ready to push the button. So we're gonna take a look at this uh, little area here. Okay, so you can see uh, right up here, I'm on a 240 chart, right? So let's take a look at this last move over here and uh, uh, watch as the, how they move the movement up, okay? So here's the movement up, all right? There's a channel they were working, all right? And you can see that what they did here was they did a one, two, three, four, five wave, all right? This is the day chart top, this is the day chart bottom. So in order to get out of the buy, they have to go into the sell. So they did a head and shoulders reversal pattern, right? Left shoulder, left shoulder, excuse me, left shoulder, head and right shoulder. Now we can go down, right? Now, so here we are on the next, on the next move 
back to the bottom, right? So what you can see here is that, uh, uh, that we are in a third wave over here, right? So third wave means there's a fourth and a fifth coming. One, two, three, right? So fourth and a fifth coming, right? So there's the opportunity and there's the opportunity, all right? Next, we'll go down to the 60 minute chart, all right? Now in the 60 minute chart, we're also going down. That means we're in harmony. MACD is going down, as you can see. So with, oh, with these two pieces of information, the 60 minute in harmony with the 240 and the MACD obviously pushing down, all right? Telling you it's gonna continue. These are the only areas you can trade, all right? Now, up here in the range, you could have traded down and up and down, right? Why? Because in a range, direction is, is just up and down, right? <clears throat> so we have broken out of the range right now, so we're looking for a continuation, all right? So uh, we're, these uh, fibs right here that you see coming from this bottom and this top, all I did was fib it from the swing high to the swing low, and you can see they know the line, 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 all right? And over here, they know the line, and right here, they know the line, all right? See, so what that tells you, that these fibs over here are what they're using over here, all right? Now, the target is the day chart bottom down here, as you can see, all right? So it's very simple. Whatever they did over here for levels is what they're going to do over here for levels, all right? They don't go back to 2001 to find where the levels are. They go to the last move in this area. So it's right here, right, right? It's not hard to find. All right, so these barriers are the banker's levels. What do I do when I hit one? I move my spot. Uh, stop, all right? Now, <clears throat> while the, the barrier is a contested area, right in here, you can see we got lots of stuff here, all right? Down here, you got lots of stuff here. And then, of course, you're going to hit the day chart bottom before you hit that stuff down here, all right? So these FIB levels from over here are the barriers to getting to target. So in here, you got one FIB here and one FIB here. Both of those are barriers, all right? The target is here. Now, the space between them right in here is uncontested, all right? The contested area is the barrier. 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 The space between them is uncontested, <coughs> uncontested, uncontested. That's where you trade, right? You don't trade unless you've got that, right? So, all right, well, now... Will uh, the extensions here are the banker's targets? Okay, so how did I find those? I clicked here and here on that leg and here, three points, and it gives me the target, the uh, targets, uh, the extensions as we go down. Right <clears throat> now, those are the banker's targets. These are the banker's barriers. These are the targets. All right, not hard. Right? So. Still, the area is here and the area is here. Right? Now, we go down to the 10-minute chart. Why? Because we're ready to trade it. We know we're only a seller. We know where the wide open space is, okay? We go down to the 10 and we see we got a flag pattern. Well, because we've done 300 flags, we know that the flag is a continuation pattern, all right? So they're trying to continue the move to the downside. So once I hit the barrier right here, I move my stop and protect my profit. All right now, you know, yeah, it could go back up. It could you know, run out of buyers and do an ABC up here and then turn and go to target. OK, that's why your stop is up here. So you live through that and you hold for this. All right now, the other thing you can do as your chops is, is you add a position here to the downside. All right. So there. All right. Now. We're trying to hold for the target. If it goes fast, you're going to run into the channel before you get to the target. But if it goes slow, you can easily get to the target. So a lot of times you look in the market and you go, wow, it's really moving fast today. Yeah, it's got to move fast or, or uh, they'll run out of time. Or, wow, it's moving slow. Yeah, it's moving slow today because they need to get to the, 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 the agenda target. And if it goes too fast, they won't get there. See? All this is being manipulated by the bankers. And it's logic, which is why you have to train the left brain. MACD always points the way, and as you can see down here in a 10-minute chart, it's just barely starting, right? So 
Each pair will have different information as clues. There are 14 patterns that you must memorize. You must know them. 300 of each with 24 hours off before between each exercise. So I do a bear flag and 300 of them. And I don't do any bear flags for uh, 24 hours. All right, your, body, your brain has to sleep. That allows it to build a highway in your brain to the folder that's got the 300 bear flags. Once that's built, now you can build another one with 300 bull flags, 300 channels, 300 retrace, all that sort of stuff. All right. All right. They use fib retracements as both barriers and targets and fib extensions as targets. Now, as you approach one, you move your stop and hold for the target you have determined today. But which target? Compare the static targets in the chart with the average true range or the ATR today. All right. So example would be the pair has an ATR of 90 pips and that means 90 pips every day on average, you know, 91 one day, 89 another, 88, 92, that kind of thing. All right. It has moved 30 pips since its start. By the way, there's a separate video on the ATR and the channel, which means there are 60 pips left in today's move. All right. Most retail traders don't even know what's left in the move because they don't use the ATR. So what if it has moved 50 pips? Well, then you no longer have an opportunity. You must have 55 pips or more to the target or you or it is a no go. So how much do I practice? Well, first of all, don't trade live until you have mastered these five things. Scientists tell us that to teach the left brain, it needs 300 images stored of each item for the left brain to understand the statistical probability of what your mind's eye sees. All right. So um, you need to understand that trading is statistics in action. Professional traders know the statistical probability of everything on the currency that they trade. For every one hour you trade live, you need to spend three hours in the past in the charts. It takes just 100 hours to be a world-class trader in one thing. I showed you five. So that is 500 hours to be world-class in just these few things. Well, that's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot, but you'll never get there unless you start. Retail traders would rather guess than take the time to really learn. Do you really want to learn to be a professional trader? So do it opposite of the dumb money. They find an entry and then they start looking for an exit. As soon as it starts to pull back, they bail, all right? We find the exit and then we do everything we can to start looking for an entry and staying in till we get to the target, which has to be at least 55 pips away or we pass. And by the way, I know where I'm getting out before I get in. So don't freak out. Pullbacks are your friend. They are to continue the move. Always remember that. If you're going down and all of a sudden they're going up, what are they doing? They're looking for the sellers. The bankers are manipulating the market to go find the sellers to continue the move. All right. So the retail trader thinks it's reversing. It is not. Everything in the Forex is about continuation until it's done. So what does it look like when you get there? All right. As you can see, uh, these are traders in our live room. You see, they're pressing their winners. They're met, not making five, eight, ten pips. They're making hundreds of pips. All right. There's K down there with 748 pips. That's not for the week. That's not for the month. That's for one trade, folks. All right. So just do it. I hope this helps you.